G'day guys, welcome back. Now, today, I'm sort of having a bit of problems with weeds and everything around the yard and the old backpack spray is just not doing it for me. So I went to the farm, picked up my old lawnmower. As you know, we got a new zero turn, so this one's kind of not, probably not gonna get used anymore. So my plan for today is to take the deck off because to get this thing working, I had to put another belt on it and it's shorter. So whenever you start it, the blades are just engaged. It's extremely sketchy and I don't want to use it around the kids or shit like that. So I'm going to take that deck off and then eventually get a smaller belt. But until then, I'm going to put the spray unit on the back so that way you can cruise along and spray the weeds. Why don't I put it on the zero turn, you ask? Well, you can't operate a zero turn with one hand. I suppose you could, but it's just not comfortable and plus... This one's got a cup holder right beside you. So I'm gonna jack this thing up, rip out that deck, find out why it's not starting, it's probably just old fuel, and then we'll open up this thing, measure it up to fit on the back. My whole plan is, I have this old quad rack, so we're gonna modify that to fit on the back of the mower, and then that way, that thing can sit on there. And when that thing's not on there, the Esky's on there. And don't ask me where I'm gonna go with it. So this bit here was a bit munted, and then this fitting here was blocked. So I wasn't getting any fuel, that's why I wasn't starting. But I fixed it. I just shaved down a tyre valve. I was having a lot of trouble trying to find a rubber that would fit in there, and then I found that a tyre valve fits perfect. Just gotta shave it down at the arse so it slots on in. Okay, new fuel lines are on. Choke's on. Let's see if she wants to fire. <laughs> Kind of. Yeah! Well, that's a win. Because that took a bloody long time. Put that back. Need the air filter. Cover. All right. Now the motor part's done. Now we just need to get rid of the blades because I'm sure you heard in the video you can hear them spinning. Like the the belt is too short, so therefore it, as soon as you start it, they're engaged. Super sketchy. But when we're in the farmhouse, yeah, it's pretty much the only, only mower I had, I had. So yeah, got to get rid of those blades until I get a shorter belt and. Yeah, I've got the rack that we'll put on the back and we'll see how that goes. I have a pretty good uh, did you know moment. Did you know that on one of these, the steering's bolted to the blades? Shit. I'm gonna have to work out how we're gonna do this front steering because I'm, I don't know how it worked because it looks like it was bolted to the front. So it looks like the mower deck was actually part of the steering component, which I don't know why, maybe it kept the deck on the perfect height. I, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm gonna have to work something out and then we'll come back whether I just put a big bolt through it so that way it just articulates in the middle. Because I thought that's pretty much what mullets do, that was just a bolt through the middle and then uh, articulate, but apparently not. Learn something new. Yeah, so a bit of a win. I found if you take this rod, which usually hangs downwards and the other bit pin goes through this up here. If you flip that around, there is two bolts, bolt holes up here that they bolt directly into. You need to bend this down a little bit so it clears it to line up. And there you go. With no cutting or welding, the steering is bolted back in. And then that way, when it comes to putting the blades back on, just undo those two bolts, flip it over, bend that back straight, Bob's your uncle, and I'm your cousin. So I think my plan of actually um, spraying the lawn today has failed considering it just started raining. 
I pulled this thing out and she's got the little 12 volt pump, a bit of wires, the cord down there. And this is a 60 litre tank, which we're gonna sit on the back of that. Might have to add some weights to the front so we don't wheel stand everywhere. But I thought I'd give you an update on this beauty. So last night I pretty much spent most of the night just tinkering and getting all the brackets right. So the header tank for the Falcon radiator, surge tank's all done. Power steering pump, reservoir, that's done. And I had this air box lying around and I never knew what it was for, but apparently it's for a GQ patrol. So I'm just gonna order a bit of pipe to go up there and it should come together pretty well, but it's all, it's all being mocked up. The motor still needs to come out for the wiring harness and everything like that. It's not looking too bad. Bottled the headlight cups in. Yeah, we're getting there slowly, but we've got heaps of other shit we need to do. But speaking of Ford, so, when I removed the bell house, or the flywheel off the FT motor, I had these bolts left over. Now too short for the new one, but I found this big plate. Now I simply have just tapped a thread and then that is going to bolt on to the back of our mower. And then that's gonna be the main support for our rack wherever that's gone. It's gone. Where has that? Oh, that's over there. Over there. So it's just gonna be a main support for our back. Done. So I'll pull this off, bolt it on, and we'll see how we go. Here's just to hold it up for now. But I got these rods that are going to brace out either side, each one, and I'll probably have one in the middle coming out to about here. Might cut that off altogether. Just have one coming out there. And then this top part's going to get cut off, and then the tank is going to sit on top. I cannot tell you how much I hate welding. So I just cut that off, weld it flat, weld the tubes down there. And we've got a big plate that's giving it heaps of support. <clears throat> just in that back half, and then I'm just gonna make a bracket up for that. And then, yeah, spray and mower engaged. Alrighty. So I've gone ahead and cut the top off that because the tank is wider than that and I've bolted it down here to the guard. Now, I'd probably like to make a bracket that comes off that, but it just rained, so it's hot as hell in the shed right now, and I cannot stand welding when it's hot. So that'll do for now. She's sturdy, don't you worry. So we'll throw the tank on, have a look what it looks like with the tank, and then we'll start wiring everything up. Exactly what I wanted, just a little spray mower. 
Got a little support bars underneath. 60 litre tank. Strap down. Oh yeah. Cheers. Now I don't know about you, but I think that turned out pretty well. So I, was, I filled it up to see how it drive because I was guessing it was going to be a little bit rear heavy. And I'm guessing if you go to reverse, reverse to forward, it's going to do the old flip to do on you. So we'll have to sort something out, maybe put a couple of weights on the front. But I haven't tried this yet, so we'll see how this goes. doing something. Here it goes. I'm getting wet. That's not bad. You just cruise along. I hope it's not poison. I hope they haven't put poison in it. But it's new, so. But yeah, you get the picture. So cruise along in the mower. There you go. That's beautiful. I like that does need a holster like here or something that'd be good but we'll work on that hey he's. that's not a bad rig the um plate idea ended up working pretty well it's actually more solid than i thought it was going to be so that's a bonus but yeah we got a little spray mower go that's how i built my little spray mower so i got some stuff coming for the the shorty patrol once i get all that shit here then i'll start filming on that again but like i said in the last video it's literally just tinker bits that i don't even know how to do so i'm kind of learning but i'm just i'll just keep updating every little bit but it is looking really good right now so it's it's looking like it should. All the bits are in there, all the bits are bolted in. So once we get to the point where the wiring harness comes back and we can plug it all in, then we'll film that bit. But it is literally every afternoon, I've just been tinkering on it just to make it look good. Um, everyone asks me if I'm gonna turbo it. No, I'm not turboing it, it's staying NA. So that way it's nice and reliable and just does its job. So yeah. But that'll be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.